Hi, this is Tony Hackett. Besides publishing my conversations with startup founders, I'm now narrating articles from my B2B digital twin website. This website offers my unique take on the emerging trend of digital twins for business, allowing for digital social selling content creation for business executives. My work on this platform has been gratifying, allowing me to explore the potential of digital twins for business-to-business sellers in particular. Let's now move on to today's narrated article. I'd like to start with an acknowledgement of country. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet. Here in Sydney, it's the Gadigal people. We pay respect to elders past, present and emerging and extend our respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people attending today. What to do about team indifference? When team members are operating at peak performance, they are like finely tuned instruments. They are working together to create music that is harmonious and beautiful. The team is synchronised and in tune, as if they had rehearsed the operation many times before. All participants communicate with each other effectively, trust each other implicitly, and understand that their success depends on the whole, and it is greater than the sum of the parts. The unit works to achieve a common goal and support each other through challenges. They have the right strategy, focus, and attitude toward work. But what happens when the machine shows signs of wear? Instead of working smoothly, the gears grind against each other. The result is often indifference, a need for more commitment between each other and the job itself. Apathy can creep in even when individual contributors are desperate to succeed. It may be time to plan for correction if you see more red flags than green ones, and here are five ways to build commitment and get back on track. First, encourage collaboration. Feeling part of a unit increases ownership and performance, shown when there is encouragement for everyone to share their ideas and solutions and listen to feedback. Genuine cooperation necessitates trusting each other and having the confidence to be vulnerable and honest. It also promotes open communication, so the team knows what's happening and how every function affects workmates and customers. Next, foster ownership. Individuals invested in production are more likely to assume responsibility for outcomes. This can be done in various ways, such as by giving employees more decision-making power, allowing them to take the initiative in problem-solving, and providing the resources and support they need. It also means encouraging them to own their idea creation and solutions and reducing their reliance on others. Next, encourage creativity. When people are inventive, they foster an environment that encourages risk-taking and experimentation. This helps to build a culture of innovative thinking and developing unique ideas. However, creativity involves more than just producing different ideas, but coming up with solutions to existing problems or issues. It also means generating opportunities for team members to share their views in new ways, even if the concepts don't always pan out in the short term. Next, promote teamwork. A cohesive unit is more likely to drive the broader success and general well-being of those around them. Communication and collaboration within a team are essential to keep everyone working towards the same goals. This increases morale, efficiency and productivity. In addition, Providing the team with moments to learn and develop together is essential. For example, promoting social activities strengthens relationships, collaborations, and partnerships. Next, encourage growth. When teams thrive as individuals and professionals, they're more likely to bind as a unit and, one, present opportunities to learn new skills, two, promote an environment conducive to innovation, and three, motivate personal challenges to be sought and conquered. You can't build a lineup that will go far on its own. Each member needs to contribute to the whole. Teamwork is about fostering collaboration, communication, and understanding. Everyone has ideas and strengths, and combining them creates a more robust and successful organisation. First, however, the members need nurturing and development. They must be allowed to chase their aspirations and ultimately respected and rewarded for contributing. But you can't expect people to transform without support and opportunities. Recognising the signs of indifference can help build a more connected and meaningful life for all involved. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Feedback is always welcome. And I would appreciate introductions to potential future guests to invite onto the podcast. But that's it for today. Thanks for listening and bye for now.